Hi and welcome to 15 minutes. Today we have a special edition of 15 minutes called Recent NASA Images by Rami Bar Ilan. Welcome Rami my friend. Thank you Thomas. It's so good to see you. It's good to have you here again. This is not the first time you're here and I hope it won't be the last time you're here. But Rami, uh, you have sent me a lot of pictures. You actually sent me 36 pictures and I'm not sure we, we're going to go over each one of them. But but you sent me a picture here and the first picture I want to bring up and discuss is uh, something looks like a square carved rock. What's your thoughts on that one? Um, this is just like you said, uh, Thomas. It's uh, it looks cut, it looks carved, ninety degrees angles, flat, straight, laser cut. Um, just amazing image. Mm. I mean, uh, if someone thinks that this is uh, nature's work, then you know. I have not much <laughs> to say about it. Oh. It looks it looks not natural. It, it looks very artificial. That, that's for sure. Can you can you just tell us what, what soul number is this from? This one is soul uh, one thousand two hundred and ninety four. Ninety four. Right. That's a, a really really awesome one. The next picture we are seeing here is the same picture just. F uh, f with a little distance in it. We are seeing it from a distance uh, so you can see a little more in the picture. Right. How much time do you spend on doing one of those images, Rami, when you're processing it? Quite a bit of time. I have developed a, a sort of a protocol of how to do it now and uh, I'm pretty much uh, familiar with all the tasks that I have to do with it. And um, it depends on the complexity of the image and of how large the shot is. I mean, the more close-up I get, the, the easier it is. The more I go back and I want to make a, 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 a full view of uh, the landscape, then it's much tougher and it takes mm. much longer. It's no big secret that the quality of the NASA picture deviates a lot from picture to picture. You can get some that is really, really unique and sharp and you can see real, real good details. And then you can get right. almost the same picture where you can't see anything at all. So, so that's actually sad that we have to get some picture that bad. But you found some pretty good pictures here, uh, Rami. Yes, I think, I think I, uh, if the pictures are too rough, then I, I, I leave them alone, you know, mm. even unless it's something really out of the world. And Extraordinary, it's... yeah. Yes. yes. I, otherwise, I leave it alone because there's so much stuff in there. Mm. There's so much that you can find with good photos that I, you know, I yeah. try look for the good ones. Mm. <laughs> you sent me another one here uh, after the, the, the square uh, rock here and uh, something is laying upon another rock. It looks uh, white and, and it looks to me when I look at it, uh, it looks like the same material as bones uh, and skulls are made of. What, what's your thoughts on that one? So we have three images of this and um, It looks to me like some uh, high-tech device, a hand tool or something. But who knows, you know? Hmm. Who knows what it is? Uh, it's just a, a, a picture. And from the picture, uh, I don't, I'm not sure that we can figure out what it is. It is very odd. And it looks like, uh, to me anyway, it looks like a hand tool. Uh, maybe a, a remote control of something. Who knows? Maybe a weapon. Maybe 
who knows? At the second picture here, we see it a little better, uh, uh, more close, where you compare it to the original image. Yes, to the yeah. raw image, to the NASA mm -hmm. image. The, in the upper part is the the processing that I've done. Mm. And the third one shows um, shows it also in, in the row, mm. uh, longer shot. Like you can see the surrounding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a that's a, a really really a great one, also. I like that. I like the work with Thank that you. picture. We have uh, uh, the next picture here, uh, and there is a lot of. Uh, you sent me a lot of images on the same picture here. Yeah. This one is probably one of my favorites of yeah. the time. Um, I, I think th this one has. Mm. This one is just blowing my mind every time I look at it. And um, we have some images of that uh, of that scene. And if you go to the last one, it's the close-up of the head. This yes. one is the, the one that is making me the, the <laughs> to be fascinated by, by, by this image. Especially the, the design of the mouth of that face. Mm. And the, the upper lip and the teeth is just uh, amazing to, to me. It's some pretty cool details you can actually find uh, on that face. Yes. That's for sure. Yes, and it does uh, appear like it has, has some sort of protection or a helmet mm. or something. And it's not the first head that we find on Mars with helmet-like uh, mm. wear or the head. And, uh, and this is very weird. I mean, we see quite a bit of these heads. And uh, and this is only um, uh, strength is strengthening the, the 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 whole concept of this because mm. if you see one, uh, see, well maybe it's just freak of nature. Mm. But you see two, three, four, ten, twenty, fifty, hundred heads, then you start to say, well, what was your first thought when you saw this image? I said, you got to be kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that. I said, no. Wow. Hmm. And there's all this image. When we go back to the first, uh, the first one, which has an overview of the whole uh, hmm. place, got lots of stuff, uh, incredible stuff. Uh, everywhere you look, it's incredible. And I think that I, I have highlighted some of them. Let's go to the second one. Is another head with a comparison to the raw image. Yeah. And the third one is again the head and the overview with the raw image. With the raw image. Yes. And. Right. The first one, I, I put John Wayne. John Wayne. Because you asked me before, this is really funny. You asked me what the first thought you had. And I said, no, you are kidding. And then the second thought I had was, that reminds me of John Wayne. <laughs> I was looking in the Google for John Wayne's photos, and I, and I found that image that I shared with everybody. I see what you mean, yes. <laughs> the mouth and everything, and the teeth. And the expression of the face is like the almost the mm. old West mm. American West. Good old John Wayne. Yes. Uh, <laughs> yes. The next one is uh, what I call uh, give me what I call the wow effect when I look at that. Wow, Rami. <laughs> what are we looking at here? This is uh, a, a long object laying on a rock. I don't know what it is, but it does look uh, very odd. And uh, I don't know what to say much about it. And ju you know what I'll say about this? The dynamics of the, the <coughs> dynamics of the shape of this is, uh, is amazing. It's very dynamic in its shape. Uh, uh, from the tip 
of the in the left uh, side it's like a, it's a, you know it, it's uh, very fine um, and exact thing rod that and then mm. the whole it's very dynamic the, the almost like a, like something that they have to go through something uh, w- when I look at this my first thought is it looks like a, some kind of sophisticated uh, arrow you use uh, with a bow and arrow I'm not saying that this is what it is but what it looks like to me when I'm looking at it uh, response to what I said it looks like something that is supposed to go through something mm. as the dynamics of the shape exactly exactly penetrate and go through yes. I, I also I also wowed when I saw it. <laughs> this is an am- amazing picture, really, really, really great one. We have the next one here. Yes, we have uh, the, the things that caught my eye were the 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 <coughs> the peon on the left, like the in the chase, the soldier on the you know on the chase uh, board. Mm, yeah. On the left is there's like a a thing, you know, standing <laughs> with a head, and that, that caught my eye. And the other thing that caught my eye was the dark part on the right. Would look, you know, I don't know. It looks maybe organic or uh, who knows? I don't mm. know what. It is. And of course, above it, you see another block cut. It looks like a really uh, laser sharp cut. With the uh, 90 degrees angles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It really does. Yeah, and on the top, slightly to the left, there is part that looks like a metal uh, pipe or something. Mm, something black again when you see the, the sun reflecting on it. Yes. Yeah. This is an awesome picture, Rami, you came up with here. Thank you. This is a really, really great one. And it seems like it has some... Uh, very carved sides on it also very smooth smooth carved sides on it in the middle to the right yes and 90 degree angles mm-hmm. definitely wet worth to put in the book of great anomalies and I see you have the same picture here as uh, the next picture here where you have highlighted uh, that little uh, what to me looks like a hand grip yeah, that you can steer something with a uh, <laughs> I remember when I was a kid I had a Commodore 64 and you know we had these old joystick and it actually yes. looks like uh, some kind of fancy joystick that that mm. you had back then not saying it is but I'm saying it reminds me of, of, of one this yeah. is uh, uh, a it really looks, it looks like it is, it's been designed mm. it, it looks uh, so uh, it's symmetrical mm. Uh, uh, um, round. It's ha- it's got a, a, a sphere-like head, and um, it's definitely uh, interesting. It's something that's for sure. Yeah, <laughs> and, uh, here, and here you have a long shot of the raw image, uh, so you can see a bit better the exactly, surround. exactly. Yes. I am looking at the next picture, Rami, and, and there is a lot of uh, rectangular area and, and uh, square uh, blocks with lots of 90 degree angles of on. There are five blocks laying um, in the sand. Is, right. uh, is this uh, a mass cam image we are looking at again here? Yes. Yes. Yes, and uh, I estimated the size. I gave the reference for uh, for people uh, to uh, so they have an idea of uh, scale here, and uh, the and yes, what you what you said is uh, this is what caught my eye. You look, you see, it's like uh, uh, cubes, and uh, they look uh, cut, and uh, artificial. If you ask me what we are looking at here, then we are looking at pieces that once was one big piece, but is cut or broken into five multiple 
smaller pieces during to whatever an explosion uh, uh, some damage uh, quite, pos quite possible mm. yes it looks like some kind of uh, you know you have these uh, iron beams uh, <coughs> when you're building constructions above doors and windows and, and, and stuff like that uh, that's what it re reminds me of construction material yes I think when you move to the next one and you see the the long shot of the mm, yeah. poem, and then you can see that there's even more uh, more like those around and uh, who knows <laughs> <laughs> this is definitely also a picture to book in the book of great anomalies for sure <laughs>